morning people and it is a fresh morning ah came from portugal 22 degrees to newcastle minus two degrees <laughs> it is a rude awakening for this early train trip to the capital arsenal away then at eight o'clock it's eight o'clock in the morning now it's early i forgot what i was meant to do <laughs> i was meant to mention the sponsor of this video and that is sofa score to keep up to date with all the scores this weekend sofa score is the best and fastest live sports app so you can scan the qr code that will be on display throughout this video or hit the link in the description to get it downloaded for free let's get back in the video i'm heading down there early start busy long day but i'm buzzing for this one buzzing for arsenal away now it's one of them ones where you go into the game and for me I'm not really expecting anything. So it's gonna be different when we go to Blackburn on Tuesday, when the expectation is there to win and we're hoping to get through and we want to get in the next round of the FA Cup. But in this one, you're not expecting anything. For me, it's a, you never want to say it's a free hit and have that loser mentality of just being like, oh, well, just turn up, you know. Not anymore, it's not the Bushy days. Do you know what I mean? It's not Mike Ashley days. But you've still got to respect Arsenal. You've still got to respect them, the title race. You've got to understand our injuries and everything else, even though hopefully, those are coming to an end and uh, you've got to respect the Emirates because Newcastle United never ever get a result there never even score there never mean get a result we haven't scored there since 2014 we haven't won there since 2011 so it's been a long old stinking run at the Emirates as I try not to get run over heading to the train station now normally I would do these videos in the train station but um, a lot of times you get all the interruption, you know, the platform four please and all that crap. So we'll do them walking there as I build up the game. And my thoughts are that even after everything I've just said, I fancy a draw. <laughs> you may have seen it in the preview yesterday if you watched it. I do fancy a potential draw for Newcastle. I just think there's something in it where this and Arsenal's record at home this season has been very good. They've uh, won most of them, but you know, Fulham picked up a point here um, and uh, who else won there Spurs got a result there didn't they West Ham West Ham won at the Emirates this season so that shows it can be done it shows how funny old football is doesn't it and West Ham won 2-0 there I think it was and Arsenal won 6-0 at their place Cup weeks going that's the concern for a lot of fans heading into this one from the Toon Army is that Arsenal are scoring a lot of goals in Newcastle have been conceding a lot of goals, so that doesn't bode well. Uh, our record at the Emirates, but you just think one year, it's got to change, man. Can we please at least score the night? Making the massive long trip down here, was a 500 mile round trip, something daft like that. Can we please at least score? Can I at least celebrate? I don't mean score when we're getting beat 4 0, 4 1 consolation. I mean, can we take the lead or equalise, please? Joe Willock, come on, this is Joe Willock's big comeback. It's like Joe Willock's obviously rumoured to be on the bench today at least you know traveling the squad who knows with Eddie Howe he could be in the starting level you never know what you're going to get with Howe's press conferences and team news do you so will we see Willick come back to haunt his former side that would be absolutely delightful just to rub it into Arsenal fans just to rub it into the Arsenal fans that are salty who are devastated who are wanting revenge you know coming for blood they've been seeing all week that's all I'm hearing oh, we're coming for blood we're getting revenge after the VAR checks last time around, they still haven't gotten over it. I don't think they ever will get over that. Obviously, they need the three points there in the title race. Newcastle are, well, want the three points. We want to get into Europe still, and the chance is still there, but it's the home games that have slipped up in recent years. A couple of draws to Bournemouth from Luton. But then again, this could be our third successive Premier League away win, and our fifth in all competitions. So that away form that was rotten at the start of the year has really turned it around, and I said on EFTV yesterday, I did a preview with them, and I said, you know, these players have got to take belief going into the Emirates because they'll be in the dressing room knowing that they beat the opposite dressing room just a few months ago. You know, all these injured players, it's all the same squad, really. All of them played against Arsenal at St. James's uh, a few months ago and got that win. So they've got to have confidence that they can go there, compete with them, and get a result. And I think that that, that does... Help us really, it's got to help them in the dressing room have that belief. And the mad thing is, this could be our first double over Arsenal since 94 
95 season. So that's a long old time in the coming. That um, I don't want to cross this road yet. It's way too busy. So we'll wrap up the video in a minute. That does <laughs> speak volumes, doesn't it? Really imagine if we get the double over Arsenal. That would be amazing. And that would intense that rivalry even more. This scratchy old derby is what Cecil was calling it from the FTV. He's not happy with that. But the team will be interesting to see if Isaac is sent the station behind me there. Cut of mates and I'll gnash in for the train. Uh, Isaac, if he starts, you know what I mean? He's meant to have trained all week. He's meant to be good to go. So you've got Isaac there who could potentially start. I'd be. I would be surprised if he did. I think, you know, Eddie Howe will go for that Gordon Barnes Almiron up front. Maybe Murphy with Isaac and Willock to come off the bench as an ace option if we are still in the game. Obviously, last year we did well at the Emirates, got a good result there. Good draw, fought hard. The defence has just got to sort themselves out today though, haven't they? The defence has got to sort themselves out. If we're going to get anything, that defence has got to be up to scratch, which it hasn't been in recent times, you know. It's uh, been flooding goals. And we need to see what happens. You know, will Dan Bain play again? Probably. Will he go five at the back? Will he maybe play full back? Will Tino be a bit further forward? And Bain be part of a back three? Um, which can go into a back five. That'll be interesting. Obviously, like I said, Yes, you know, the thought of Sack Everton that Dan Byrne is, is absolutely terrifying. But let's see, you know what I mean? Dan Byrne to replicate Andy Carroll's winner there all them years ago. Big leaping header at the back post to get us a win. Come on. Getting too excited now, getting carried away. I'm going to head to the train station, people. Stay tuned to Magpie Channel TV. Got loads of videos coming your way. Match day vlog, uh, fan cams tonight after the game, and a match reaction. And then we're straight back to the tune early tomorrow morning for the women's game at St. James Park. So I'm going to go again with 1-1 as my score prediction. Drop yours in the comments below and enjoy yourself.